100 years later, a bridge began construction somewhere in the East Blue on the island of Tikulo Wolf, which has an unknown purpose. All we know is that the bridge construction was ordered by the world government. 200 years later, Oz, a ruler over a nation of brigands from around the world, died of frostbite traveling the northern land and remained preserved in ice. 40 years later, a cure is found for the tree fever that had plagued the land of Levine, almost wiping out a majority of the inhabitants of the island. 16 years later, Nolan departs from Vera with a crew following the log post. They happen upon a merchant selling an unusual artifact from Skypea called a Waver. During his journeys, Nolan arrives on Green Bay, where he protects the dwarves from the humans. He had made a hero, and a statue is erected in his honor. Nolan arrives on Jaya Island and brings about the end of a horrible disease that made Shandina sick. Four years later, a large portion of Jaya is shot into the air by the knockoff stream. The war between the Skypeans and the Sandarians begins. Nolan brings the King of Levine to Jaya to show him the treasures of the people there. He sets sail with three ships, however, due to a storm, two were sacrificed to protect the king. When they arrive on Jaya on November 15th, there is no one living there, and the city of gold is gone. Six months later, Nolan is executed for his quote-unquote lies about the people of the, and the city of gold. He died claiming the city fell into the ocean. 200 years later, St. Bricks leads from the Brick Kingdom, carrying a crew towards the Grand Line. The crew makes it to Skypea, but then they vanish without a trace. During this time, the world government also made an alliance with Sith Man Island after centuries of discrimination between Sith Man and humans. During this time, the Fighting Fish also appear near Green Bay.